So what else you got? Yeah, so the last thing we'll talk about is the same thing we spoke about last week, but now we can celebrate the fact that, it, that, it's, that it's been proven correct. Because last week I put out a pretty insane take and story from stuff that I'd heard that WWE was for sale, that I believe Vince McMahon was coming back. I spoke about the contracts at length of people that were winding down and how um, they wanted to either secure the sale before those contracts ran out or try to desperately renegotiate people. Um, you've only got Roman for another couple of years. You've only got Becky till 2025. So I made it very clear last week that these these contracts were were winding down. That WWE was supposed to be uh, moving towards a to moving towards a sale. Uh, that that's what Nick Khan was brought in to do. And today, Vince McMahon has announced that he's back um, with um, with George with George Barrios uh, at his side. Um, they are now moving. And the other the, girl, Michelle, whatever. Wait, so Vince McMahon is back? Yeah, he will be back. he's going to be back. And he, no, and no, 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 no. Is going to be back or he is back? And I think three people have to three people have to on the board of directors have to leave and then he can come back because Joe sent us something that what was it, the Wall Street Journal? Yep. Oh, so read, the, that, so the, read that part where it says that three people have to leave for him to be able to come back. Three people on the on the uh, Well, I'll I'll give it's you this at statement. the end. Yeah. It says uh because he also released a statement, so I'll get to that, but so la- last month, WWE's board responded to McMahon in a letter and stated it was willing to collaborate with him while hammering out the review process for selling the intellectual property of SmackDown and Raw. However, sources familiar with the correspondence between McMahon and D- uh, WWE told the Wall Street Journal that the board unanimous- unanimously agreed that McMahon returning to the company was not in the shareholders' best interest. Uh, he's told the company he's electing himself and two former co-presidents and directors, Michelle Wilson and George Barrios, to the board. The move to reinstate Mr. McMahon, which the board previously rebuffed, and the others will require three current directors to vacate their positions. So basically, we're just banking on the fact that the Twitter mob is not going to be as interested in his uh, payouts to women and everything as they were months ago. Because all they have to do is just re- reinvigorate that. Uh, bro, the, the, a Twitter mob can get activated like very easily to just. They're, to, they're to, already to, doing it, but the, they're already doing it in the last half an hour. But the point is, is that. It's about it's about more than that because the situation is this company is being bought to sell and that's why you need a massive WrestleMania with, with Steve Austin and Brock Lesnar and The Rock. These are people who mainly negotiate with Vince. Brock Lesnar told them when he left that I'm not signing another deal. He walked out and then came back into the building because of Vince, who was had already left, to finish the show and knowing that he was just going to see out this contract. So Brock's done at SummerSlam. Roman's deal runs out, obviously, uh, as, as I said, in, um, in 2025. Becky's deal runs out in 2025. Now, they're not Vince McMahon people, but The Rock is. And everything that was everything that was discussed with The Rock... But isn't Brock Vince McMahon people? Exactly. Yeah. That's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. Brock, told, Brock said, well, if he goes, I go. But he's right. under contract. So this is his last contract. A lot, of peop- a lot of things are on the line here. The Rock, in particular, is the most recent thing. Everything creatively that was discussed through him and how it was going to be ma- ma- managed with the XFL and everything like that through the Rocks and Seven Bucks promotions, that's all been done through Vince. I actually had another story about the Rock this week, but it can wait because this supersedes it. This is everything I spoke about last week. You may as well, you may as well re-air or put at least put it onto YouTube, everything I said last week because we were a whole week ahead of this because I, I knew this was coming. I've been hearing about this for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks that – Things are not well. Um, the, the hiring all of these new people was not the direction the company were moving towards when they're looking at streamlining towards a sale. The sale is still the top priority, which is the reason why Nick Khan was always there in the first place to streamline this company and prepare it for the sale and to and to grow it to the highest point. That's what Nick Khan does. He's not a wrestling person. He's a business person, and he was always there to do that. And over the last year, uh, or the last six months even, Triple H has completely changed what they've tried to do. And Vince was Vince sitting there looking at these hires coming in, knowing that the, the deal with The Rock is going up in the air because there's no communication anymore. And that's just a small thing. I don't want to keep going The Rock, The Rock, The Rock, The Rock when we're talking about a massive like multi-billion dollar deal and a multi-billion dollar business. But there's so many things that have not gone correctly. I and mean, the marks can sit there and say, oh, we really like the show and our indie guys are getting over. And even you, Conan and Disco, can say you prefer it. But the fact is, is that business-wise, like it's not moving in the direction that they that they set up to 
So I do prefer it, but what's... I don't like I don't like those indie guys are using. I don't like Gargano. I don't like well, Mitch. Not, not even that. Like what, all these people a... that aren't getting. No, old. no, no. I'm not saying I'm not putting that on you. I'm saying you like the the, the storyline direction. Yeah, I do. Yeah, but, they, but here's my, they cut here's out my a lot of the porny. When we're yeah. talking about sale, like who gives about creative stuff? We're talking about sale. What's the stock price at right now? It went up eighty bucks. So why are they why are they wanting to sell this 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 uh, company when the stock price is like doing so well? Because they do not they they do not believe that it's sustainable at that price without the without the names without the names that they have without without bringing in Steve Austin without having Brock Lesnar with Roman Reigns leaving to go to Hollywood in two years um, with with Becky Lynch not knowing if she's going to go to Hollywood as well. Like they haven't created enough stars, and most significantly, with the renewal of the TV deals, um, they are expecting uh, a similar re-up from from Raw, and they're expecting even more money from SmackDown uh, once they sell to a, a streaming service. They don't want to book. They don't want to write television on a streaming service. They, so they let me let me ask you a question because a friend of mine was telling me that he thought that it would be sold to NBC. My question is. Who do you think it'll be sold to? And the second question is, if they are sold, do you think they'll keep on Vince McMahon like, like UFC kept Dana White or Triple H, or it'll it'll be a whole new, um, you know, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a whole I new crew. I I believe that Triple H and Stephanie, especially Stephanie, will be maintained in some capacity right. as a as a brand officer and the other work that she does. Um, with charities and whatnot, I think that she'll be retained in some capacity if she wants to be. I don't even know whether they whether they would want to do it. Um, I also believe Nick Khan will be retained as well. But yeah, I think that um, you know that they'll need somebody to to steer the ship, whoever takes over. And I do think NBC are the front runners. Uh, once SmackDown went to Fox, um, NBC were not best pleased about it because they were moving towards doing more stuff with WWE, uh, as I've reported before. Um, when you go to a Universal Studios theme park, uh, Universal Studios don't actually own any of the intellectual properties in their own theme park. They're very, very desperate to own something. At the moment, the only thing that Universal um, have a real investment in is the Minions. Um, so WWE would be a big get for them. Uh, they're very interested in having it. And um, that's what Nick Khan is there to do. So when they went to Fox, it was a little bit of a, of a sting. And that's why I think they were appeased by Peacock, which is another NBC property. <laughs> and I think ultimately it's moving in that direction where they would be the, the front runners. But look, they're not going to be the only people that like try to come and buy it. Um, I don't think um, th there's a lot of talk about Disney over the years, but they've never actually come come forward. But I still think that there'll they'll be interest there from, from other people. But yes, it's difficult for me to see past NBC because they're so desperate to to own their own stuff because everything from NBC is is franchised out from someone is borrowed from somebody else. So, okay, so let let's end this part of the. You know, uh, sorry, Conan. I just wanted to make sure. Do you guys want to hear what Vince's press release said? Yeah, yeah go ahead. So it says WWE is entering a critical juncture in its history with the upcoming media rights negotiations coinciding with increased industry wide demand for quality content and live events. And with more companies seeking only intellectual property on their platforms, the only way for WWE to fully capitalize on this opportunity is for me to return as executive chairman and support the management team in the negotiations for our media rights and to combine that with a review of strategic alternatives. My, re my return will allow WWE as well as any transaction counterparties to engage in these processes knowing they will have the support of the controlling shareholder. WWE has an exceptional, ma an exceptional management team in place and I do not intend for my return to have any impact on their roles, duties, or responsibilities. Yo, what up? This is Conan, and I host Keeping It 100 with my co-host, Disco Inferno, unfortunately. Well, I'd say you're my co-host. Listen, every Thursday here on Spreaker, we talk pro wrestling, sports, movies, music, TV, pop culture, and some politics. It's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury Disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and keep it 100. Boom!